हेलो फ्रेंड्स लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन द रिजिम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोडायनेमिक जनरल बेरिंग एंड नॉमिंग क्लेचर्स ऑफ हाइड्रोडायनेमिक जनरल बेरिंग एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द डिज़ाइन कंसिडरेशन इन हाइड्रोडायनेमिक जनरल बेरिंग सो इन पर्टिकुलर डिज़ाइन कंसिडरेशन वी हैव टू थिंग्स दैट इज डिज़ाइन वेरिएबल्स एंड परफॉर्मेंस वेरिएबल्स राइट सो वॉट आर द डिज़ाइन वेरिएबल्स सो इट इज़ दोज वूज वैल्यू आर आइदर गिवन और आर अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ डिजाइनर मीन्स डिजाइन डिजाइन वेरिएबल्स हैविंग द वैल्यू विच इज कंट्रोल बाय द डिजाइनर ओके सो विच आर द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट सो फर्स्ट वन इज जर्नल स्पीड एन एस देन विस्कोसिटी देन यूनिट बेरिंग प्रेशर और लोड पर यूनिट प्रोजेक्टेड एरिया ओके सो पी then bearing dimensions r c l and beta that is the arc of bearing right so these are the variables which is control of the designer so next uh, uh performance variable so what is the performance variable are those which tell us how well the bearing is performing well to ye jo char variables hai it decide how the bearing perform well so that is called the performance variable so the designer cannot control this variable uh, except indirectly by changing one or more of the design variable matlab aap design variable ko control karke performance variable ko vary kar sakte ho right now design of hydrodynamic journal bearings so it is nothing but define the satisfactory limit for the performance variable and deciding the value of design variable such that the performance variable do not exceed the defined limit means hame yahan pe design of hydrodynamic bearing mein uh, it's nothing but we have to select the different different variables which is not exceed particular defined defined limit okay so that is called the hydrodynamic uh, design of hydrodynamic general bearing now let's have the relation of variable for hydrodynamic general bearing so here it is called the raimondi and boyd method okay boyd method so here what happened by here the raimondi and boyd Uh, it uh, you know uh, having it's uh, established the relationship between the different design and performance variable so here we have a chart which shows the relationship between the de different design performance and uh, design and performance variable so basically the values of this dimension parameters are available in the form of chart okay so i will show you that chart so here in that chart we have l by d ratio in 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 and infinite form so here this is a chart you can see this is a infinite l by d ratio so here it is infinite value it is 1 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 so here chart is given and as per this chart h o by c uh, e then s summer field number r by c f all these values is already defined okay as per this chart now let us see the design and performance variable so first one is the journal radius okay so we can uh, we can have control over this journal radius r then bearing length l then radial clearance c so c is given by is equal to capital r minus small r that we have seen capital r is the bearing radius and smaller that is the journal radius so here journal speed ns that is the revolution per second and unit bearing pressure p is equal to w upon ld so this is the area of particular bearing okay so p is equal to w upon ld which is having a unit newton per mm square then viscosity of lubricant mu newton into second per mm square coefficient of friction then temperature rise delta t total flow of lubricants so these all are the design and performance variable 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 up to 11 you can see last one is minimum oil film thickness which is 
particular this distance okay so here you can see this journal and this is a bearing right now let us see the dimension less parameters now uh, dimensionless parameter Raimondi and Boyd use the following dimensionless parameter in their charts or we can say table okay so as we have seen this table first one is summer field number s or bearing characteristics number so here you can see in the chart s that is the summer field number or we can say bearing characteristics number s is equal to r by c square mu ns upon p second is l by d ratio that we have seen infinite 1 1 by 2 1 by 4 then minimum fill, uh, film thickness h uh, thickness variable h o by c then eccentricity ratio e is equal to uh, small e upon c and small e is that is the eccentricity and c is the clearance ratio so this equation already we have seen the relations right and finally uh, e is equal to 1 minus h o by c okay then coefficient of friction variable cfv is equal to uh, r, r by c into f so here you can see r by c into f then uh, flow variable that is q upon rc nsl so here you can see the value of q upon rc nsl so these all are the things which is uh, you know derived by this uh, two guys name is uh, Raimondi and Boyd okay so he gives a chart okay so here uh, flow ratio that is qs by q and minimum film pressure ratio p upon p max so all these things given by the uh, these two guys right so here temperature raise variable that is rho cp delta t upon p and the zero pressure angle theta p o okay uh, so it gives the termi termination position of the high pressure fluid film okay now uh, after this chart uh, I just want to say one more topic related to this chart and that is selection of bearing design variable for hydrodynamic journal bearing so it's very often the design of hydrodynamic journal bearing it is required to select a suitable uh, you know uh, suitable values for the following variables so which are the variables length to diameter ratio then second is unit bearing pressure third is radial clearance and fourth one is minimum oil film thickness h o right so if we talk about l by d ratio so if it is a long bearing then l by d ratio so long bearing uh, large l by d ratio it reduces the side leakage okay so this is an advantage of long bearing so its l by d ratio is high and uh, it reduces the side leakage and hence require the less oil flow rate right and long bearing are used where the boundary lubrication is present and because of boundary lubrication uh, is present the high load carrying capacity it has and low coefficient of friction okay so this is the advantage of low long bearing now there is also limitation so what is the limitation so there are more uh, you know metal to metal contact so uh, heat is generating more so here let us now discuss the short bearing so advantage of the short bearing is just reverse of this long bearing okay so its result the greater flow of oil out of the end and thus keeping the bearing cooler okay then if shaft deflection is likely to be severe severe then a short bearing should be used to prevent the metal metal contact okay uh, at the end of the bearing now one limitation is there short bearing have a high coefficient of friction and low load carrying capacity okay now selection of l by d ratio if we talk about in general then the l by d ratio should be between 0.5 to 2.0 okay so in general we consider the l by d ratio as 0.5 to 2.0 now second is unit bearing pressure so unit bearing pressure we have a chart for that selection of this unit bearing pressure so if it, it if it is electric motor then unit bearing pressure is 0.8 to 
1.5 newton per mm square then steam if it is a steam turbine then here you can see different different value is given as per this chart right now um, here uh, chart is given now second is radial clearance so you know the radial clearance right so uh, there are some advantage and limitation of the radial clearance so it should be small enough to provide the necessary velocity gradient and small radial clearance increase the load carrying capacity radial clearance jitna chota hoga utni load carrying capacity jyada rahegi and decrease the oil flow rate so limitation of the uh, radial clearance that is uh, the small radial clearance required the fine surface finish okay and and clean the lubrication oil and rigid bearing mountings it increase the initial and maintenance cost of the bearing right so this is a basically radial clearance advantage and limitations here chart is given for the radial clearance then last one is minimum oil film thickness so friends uh, ho that is in between 0.0002 minus 0.00 means 2 uh, here this value you can uh, consider okay now next is the design procedure for hydrodynamic journal bearing so here uh, following procedure is followed for the design of hydrodynamic journal bearing so first the input data is available is uh, you know load we know the load what amount of load then journal speed so this is the input data now according to this we have to select the l by d ratio for the given application right after that select the suitable bearing material then select the permissible unit bearing pressure p is equal to w upon l by d so we know the w so by this way we can find out the di uh, diameter of journal d and the length of bearing l right now select the radial clearance c for the given bearing application recommended value are given in table so i have seen uh, i have shown you a table right uh, fr from where you can find out c right select the value of minimum oil film thickness ho considering the surface finish of you know uh, journal of journal and bearing now calculate the minimum oil film thickness ratio ho by c so these all the things we can consider by the chart whatever i have shown you right by knowing ho by c and l by d select the following dimensionless parameter okay from remodis and boyd table of chart jo humne table chart dekha usme se hum ye sab value jo hai wo hame select karni hai theek hai then knowing the dimensionless parameter calculate the following variable for the bearing तो ये जो है पूरा चार्ट में से हमको सब वैल्यू मिल जाएगी और उसके बाद हमें फाइंड आउट करना है एसेंट्रिसिटी देन म्यू देन एफ ओके देन टोटल फ्लो रेट ऑफ लुब्रिकेंट देन साइड लीकेज तो ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी कैन फाइंड आउट देन टेक एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हिट सीपी एंड मास डेंसिटी रो फॉर द कैंडिडेट लुब्रिकेशन लुब्रिकेंट्स हैविंग द एब्सोल्यूट विस्को सिटी ओके then we have to last calculate delta t okay so i will show you how to find out this delta t okay in the next video so this is the basic procedure for uh, design the uh, design the hydrodynamic journal bearing so we have to follow this procedure while the uh, having example of bearing right so today this is enough and next time we will see about the temperature rise in hydrodynamic journal bearing so thank you jain jay bharat